So the recording has started. So th welcome everybody. Today is <clears throat> it's the 17th of April 2020. It's Friday evening um, at around uh, a little past eight now. So this is Kriya channeling. I'm channeling the entity called Kriya and Kriya is part of Cryon So Group. And so let's begin. And I would like to take everybody into a um, short meditation until I can calm myself down and start to channel directly from Kriya. So let's begin just by following our own breath, just breathing in. and breathing out and starting to pay attention only to breathing in, only to the simple function in our body that is just breathing in and breathing out when you cannot breathe in anymore. And just follow your own breath. Make use of what is always with you, which is your own breath. This is the best way of connecting with your body. Your body is the physical and visible part of you. And your breath is the invisible. So when you follow your own breath, it's like you start to initiate this co-creation between what you cannot see and what you can see. And this is following your breath is really the best way to calm yourself down and also let go of all that mind chattering when you can just focus your attention on your breath and let all the other thoughts go thank you very much mind thank you very much thoughts Right now, I just want to pay attention to my breath. And now let's increase that relaxation by shifting our awareness, our focus from in our brain, in our head, and just shift it down to being in our heart area. A very simple way to do that is just imagine you're walking into an elevator, an energetic elevator that is within your body and allow this energetic elevator to take you and your focus from being in your mind to all down to being in your heart and allow this elevator to drop you right into your heart. And just imagine when the elevator doors open all you have to do is just gracefully move out. And there you are in your heart space. A 
Allow yourself to be even more connected. And when you are in your heart space, connect with Mother Earth. Connect from your heart to the heart of Mother Earth. Just feel this infusion of the energy of Mother Earth, the consciousness of Mother Earth, and feel Mother Earth's consciousness around you, joining you. And right now, Mother Earth is happy, absolutely in bliss. Mother Earth has been waiting for her children all the other beings that has made Mother Earth their home. All your bodies, all the bodies of all the animals, all the trees, all the mountains, every bird and every fish in the sea, all the insects that crawl over earth, they are all her children and she is happy because she now really can see clearly that all of her children are waking up. They are getting ready to shift, to make this shift with her. Mother Earth has been ready to shift into the next dimension and has done so already. However, a lot of her children that is walking, breathing, and experiencing this playground called Earth had not been able to shift into this higher dimension with her not right away. And now things are moving. The energy is really being elevated so much so that she can feel the excitement in the air that all of her children is going to come join her very soon now, one by one, her children are waking up. They are waking up to this connection that we all have with Mother Earth. Mother Earth and us are not separate. The lions, the elephants, the giraffes, the beetle, even the mosquitoes, and the big whales in the ocean, and all of the birds in the sky, all of the other created creatures, whether they have wings, whether they have scales, or whether they can only walk on earth, all of them are waking up to the fact that everyone else are just part 
of the same big family that's living on earth. The animals start to remember now. They are starting to change. The predators are now remembering that all the animals that they used to consider as their prey is actually a part of them. They're starting to vaguely remember the familiarity and starting to get a glimpse that this one is not my prey. This one is my brother. And they will start to change their behavior. Maybe not overnight. Maybe it would take a generation or two generations. But sooner or later, they are starting to remember even the human beings, even the human collective, they are waking up faster and faster. There is momentum now. And that's why Mother Earth is so happy, so happy now that in the not too distant future, peace on earth, not just peace between species, but peace amongst species, everyone does not matter whether one has wings and the others don't. Does not matter whether one has scales and the other don't. Makes no difference whether you have two legs or four legs. We are starting to come together to play a very different game. And this is exciting. That is why Mother Earth is shifting her vibration even faster to facilitate us. And that is why she is cooperating with all of those who take the time to connect with her. And she knows who it is that walk on her body. And when you send your vibration down to her and connect with her, she'll know who you are. She recognize your vibration she recognizes your thought patterns and she will assist you more than she will assist the others that did not take the time to connect with her. Now is the time to really take and become even more connected with Mother Earth. Not because you want to manifest more things for yourself, but because it is the best way to shift your consciousness. When you allow your consciousness to be mingled with the consciousness of Mother Earth. It may happen just initially as an energetic co-creation. But the more you do that, the more you allow a different 
variety of thought patterns to start to take up more room in your mind. It's easier for you to let go of thoughts that does not support oneness. Thoughts that are only about creating things for yourself. Now is actually the time to create something that will benefit everyone, not just you. However, make sure, make no mistake that you will be included in it as well. Whatever you wish from your heart, for Mother Earth and for other beings, it will be returned to you a hundred times. It is like this. You creating this vortex when you connect with Mother Earth. You allow the energy of Mother Earth to move through your body to help you sweep out the things that does not resonate with you anymore. and start to clear out things that are only going to be good for some people and not all people. Know that Mother Earth loved all her children, not just some of them. She loves every one of us. And when you align with her, when what you wish for is not just for yourself, but for everyone, for the benefit of all, it carries much more support from her. She will take whatever it is that you wish for, all the intention that you wish for, for everyone, and multiply it, and send it out far and wide so that everyone knows about it on an energetic level. They feel and resonate with this. And when they start to hear someone talk to them about the same idea that you send out, they would have this aha moment Ah, yes, this is what it is that I've been waiting. This is it. This is what I want to sign up for as well. And this is what's happening now. When you align with Mother Earth, when you remember that you and everyone else, not just every human being, but every living being on earth are simply one family. Different parts, different function, different physicality, yes, but one big family. more and more, we will start to begin to build things, create systems, even change government, 
change every system that we have been using and accustomed to for many thousand years now, they will not be able to remain unless they support everyone, unless they are good for everyone, humans and non-humans. Can you not feel the happiness that is coming from Mother Earth? Tap into her happiness. Tap into her excitement. And breathe it all in. She's been waiting for us for such a long time. And now we're almost there. We're getting there. Some of us are already there. We're already thinking that way. That's a good start. So breathe in, breathe in this oneness on the planetary level, this oneness with Mother Earth. Allow her vibration to come through you. so that you can be the vortex that allow the oneness of Mother Earth to come through. Allow this energy to change you, to shift you. And allow this energy to come through you to change and shift everyone that is around you as well. Each and every one of you is a conduit for oneness. The more you can allow your own thinking to shift, to shift from self to oneness. The more you will be able to allow this vibration of oneness that's coming from Mother Earth to come through you. And know that Mother Earth is actually connected with the whole universe. Mother Earth knows that she is part of the universe. And so as children of Mother Earth, you are also part of the universe. You already are at a soul level. You're already connected to all of creation, not just the beings on Earth, 
of the beings from everywhere, all of creation, no exception. It's like this, we realize the oneness in ourselves by uniting our soul and our body, our mind, our entity, all of that, we unite that. That's the personal level of oneness. And then the next level is the oneness of humanity. And then the next level is oneness on a planetary level. And then we go up from there, oneness within our solar system, oneness within the quadrant of our galaxy, and then oneness with the whole galaxy, and then oneness with all parallel universes and oneness with source, with the creative source. Even when you're in your body, you have access to all that. You have the potential of that access. Whether you want to learn and know that much or not, that is up to you. It is your free will choice. However, everyone in this body has that potential, has that ability To talk to source, to talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime. You can talk to your own ancestors. Yes, you can. They are a part of you. They're within your DNA. Not only that, you can actually talk to your great-grandchildren. Let go of the concept that time is linear. It is not. Time is a continuum. You can go back and forth. You can go and talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime. If only you would allow yourself to do that. And why would you want to do that? You may ask. Well, that's a good question. Because you want to know things. You deserve to know things. What's the best way to do? Talk to somebody who has lived the reality, who has lived those lifetimes. You can go back and ask, what actually happened? How come things are the way they are now? Where did it start? When did it start? You can go back and ask those questions and talk to anybody that you want to. Not physically, but 
but intuitively you can talk to them. And if you want to know if this is a good choice, then talk to your future self. Talk to your future generation and ask them. Or was the best choice? Could I have done better? Could I have made a different decision? We have that capacity now. And remember that. Remember this. This is your right. This is your ability. This is your skills that comes with being in a human body. You have that. Allow yourself to access those abilities and remember them. Ask and you shall receive. Whether it is information or other things, it's all the same. Now is the time when the abilities of the human being is starting to expand beyond what we believe we could do in the past. It's opening up. And you will see more of that happening. The faster it's going to happen. That's a lot of abilities that have been denied human beings because if we have these special abilities and we don't have the consciousness, the oneness concept, we can actually do a lot of harm. But when we have oneness consciousness, when we actually know that everyone else and every other beings are just a part of us, and when we truly know that from our heart, then all these capabilities will start to open up so that we can move forward faster, so that we can get access to a lot of knowledge, scientific knowledge, biological knowledge, all of those information we start to be unlocked. Right now, they are being kept away from us for our own good because we are not ready for all that powerful information to come into our consciousness. With great powers come great responsibilities. And it's true. And so embrace oneness. Embrace your heart. And really understand one thing. That we are all one. 
and allow that to really be the cornerstone of all your actions. If it is not good for everyone, and it is simply not good. When we can lift that, when we can lift on that level of consciousness, then all these other capabilities will be returned back to us. That is when even one person can do miracles. And we're not ready for that right now. Don't worry though, it is coming. It is coming faster. Faster than you think. Because this shift is exponential. It has been shifting inch by inch for the longest time. And now everything is accelerated. And we have really get momentum now. You're seeing momentum now. Once even you notice the momentum And there's no turning back. If only you could feel how happy Mother Earth is. If only you could feel how happy all of us helpers All of us who had never had the experience of being human, because our role is here to facilitate. Our role is to make sure that the earth, the playground, is tuned just the way you all need it to be. We are the curator of this playground. And we've been waiting for this to happen for a long time. And it is finally here. That is why we are so happy. We join Mother Earth in rejoicing. Everything that each and every one of you are doing. You may not think that you are doing much, but you have done plenty. You have lent your wisdom, you have lent your vibration. You have no idea that just by your soul choosing to come on this playground, that you have contributed tremendously to lifting and shifting the vibration of earth. On the surface, it may seem that you are simply living your life, living a very humdrum life, maybe. But actually, no. That's just a charade. You are actually anchoring your energy here 
You're anchoring your vibration here. And because of that, so choice, you have made all of this possible. You have made a shift possible. So we thank you. Mother Earth, thank you. Thank you for playing. Thank you for choosing this earth as your playground. We promise you that it is going to be colorful. <laughs> Don't worry, not the bad kind of colorful. This time around, we can actually promise you that it will be the good kind of colorful. It will be exciting. It will be a joy ride. And this is what you have signed up for. You have waited long enough for this. So now all you have to do is just breathe in this new vibration and connect with Mother Earth. Connect with all the people, events, activities, animals, trees, forests, land, gardens, even house plants connect with all of that that resonate with you. And remember that you're not alone. In fact, all of us are here together as one and we each play a different role. And you will play your role and don't worry. Don't worry about, oh, what is my role? You're already playing it. You play your role by all the decisions that you make in your life. You play your role by connecting with Mother Earth. You play your role by connecting to your own soul, by living in your heart. That is, these are all the best thing that you can do. And if your soul and your heart gives you a nudge to do something else, And that is also your role as well, to follow your heart and start to do more of the things that your heart is nudging you to do. All the things that gives you joy when you do them, that is what you are exactly here to do. That is our message for this evening. We love you, we thank you, and we are happy for you. We leave you with this happiness 
and excitement. Follow this, keep this, keep this excitement in your heart. That is our gift for you this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you.